Spoon. Okay. Got you one. This one might be 18 inches. Yeah, I think you got a I think you got a decent one. Working the trees. Working the trees, girl. Oh, look how pretty. God, they're so pretty. Yeah. Good job. Ready? Yeah, get them up. There you go. Gorgeous fish. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming they're tailing. How do you get in there? That, that one's a tough one. He's in a tough spot there. <laughs> but you got him. <laughs> Easy, I'm filming. You gotta watch it. <laughs> that was awesome. I told you. Not the typical opening you see here on Flats Class YouTube. This one, you guessed it, I'm fishing with Blondie. We're in Cedar Key. Uh, the lesson I'm gonna teach you on this one is fishing the summer high tides. Uh, many of us get intimidated with this high water and the fish get up inside the mangroves and it's tough to catch them. Now, myself, I get lots of practice at skipping baits and, 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 and making pinpoint casts because, well, it's my job. But if you're a weekend warrior, uh, or in this case, my wife who doesn't get to fish all the time, but she is an accomplished angler, I, I like to put on a little rig that you can throw in there and you can almost be completely fearless. Uh, you don't break off that much and you got a legit shot at catching some really nice fish. So I'm going to send you back to the action. When you come back, I'll show you that rig. Um, but I want to show you something right here that I've been using to clean my boat with. And that is this Carolina First Mate. Um, this stuff has been fantastic for me. Uh, boat wash, a salt remover. It's a concentrated gel. And honestly, it's keeping this aqua traction looking like the day it was installed. It's that good super happy with this stuff and uh it goes a long way so looks like i got enough for the whole summer because they sent me a, a two gallon bucket but uh i can guarantee you i'll be doing a reorder on that one you go back watch the fishing and i'll break the tackle down when you get well when you get done watching fish in here. I mean, there could be big fish off the bank and I'm just overthinking it. Oh, a big stingray. That was a great big stingray. The rest just been like following it all the way. Yeah, we're just pushing them. There 
Yeah. Well, yeah, just getting that lower in there tight, you know. That's it. That's all it takes. Alright, I'm gonna put the power pole down. He's not a giant. I'll take care of him, babe. You just keep fishing. We'll swing in with the wind. I just had a triple tail come out and follow me, and I knew there'd be another red. Throwing those spoons up in there. Just an Aqua Dream spoon. So I'm winging it. You're killing it. You're killing it. You are killing it. On the bushes. On the bushes. And they keep getting bigger. That's what we want. Bigger is better. <laughs> around. Good looking fish. Good looking fish. All right. Number five. Very nice. Cool. Ready? Back he goes. Okay, see you later, buddy. Those are fun. Okay, let's talk about what happened. Yeah, we caught a good, probably by, in the couple hours that we really fished, we probably caught a half a dozen reds. Uh, I actually had a triple tail follow my spoon out one time. Uh, didn't see too many snook, which is not that unusual up there in Cedar Key. But um, when you get to fish with your wife, and I don't really get to fish with Blondie that often. In fact, uh, it's even kind of rare. It's like if we get a chance to fish together seven, eight, maybe nine times a season, that's all I get. Uh, and a lot of that has to do is I got a crazy schedule. I'm here with you guys on Flats Class YouTube all the time. I've got the Tidewater Diaries. I've got Flats Class Television. I've got a lot of stuff I got to get done. But I will tell you this. Let me share what she was using. Because like that first scene where you saw her throw to that fish, there was an actual fish in there tailing on the roots, sucking the little mangrove crabs off, off the roots themselves. And there was a dead limb out in front. She had to make a cast to get in there. So... 
you need to know this little rig so that you can duplicate stuff like that. I was shocked she got it out of there. But uh, I just have her typically throwing. This is a, a rod that she favors a lot, which is the Shimano Terramar. This is the, the standard Terramar that you can get. It's about a $180 rod. I've got a little Noski on here. It's a $100 reel. Uh, it's a 3000. I spooled it up with 10 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2. Typically, I have it spooled up with eight for casting distance, but I knew we were going up to Cedar Key. We were going to do some fishing, and a lot of it was going to be in those tidal oyster creeks, and some of it was going to be on some of the mangrove shorelines. So I wanted to make sure that we had something, well, substantial enough to pull fish out of cover. So tied to that 10 pound, I have probably about four feet of 30 here, and I'll set this down. I got about four, four feet of 30 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, tied with a really small knot, um, the red Phillips knot. Now you guys have seen that video, and if you haven't seen it, my guys are going to put it in the, uh, in the description below so that you can go see it. But the real gem, if you will, uh, that gives everyone the ability, no matter what the experience, to throw into the tree line, into the bush line, like get down there in the prop roots, uh, work it through some dead branches and stuff that might be laying in the water and, and really almost never foul. You get it out a lot. And a lot of it has to do with the material is Elastec. So it's very buoyant, so it's slow falling. Um, the hook that I'm using, if you look here, this is a, uh, this, is, this hook is the chin locks hook from Z-Man. It's the Tuat. You're like, wow, two up, boy, that's not a lot of hook gap. Well, it's not a lot of hook gap. But in this instance, it keeps us from getting hung up a lot. Now, if you want a little bit more hook gap, you can take your pliers and you can open the hook up. Okay, you can take your pliers and bend it up and it'll give it a little bit more uppercut angle. And to do that is very simple to do. It takes like two seconds with a pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, I also like to do this little number here where I tie a clinch knot right here in the front. By putting that clinch knot there instead of a loop knot, I can slide the bait up over the top of it, okay? Just like that. And that way, when an angler throws into the prop roots or into some dead limbs in there, there's nothing to catch. It's just a straight line that comes out. So it typically just kind of tumbles over the top of it when you got to pull it free. And because this material is so buoyant and so soft, with a 1 12th of an ounce chin lock, that's what's on this, this 2 out chin lock, with just 1 12th of an ounce, it has a slow fall and the tail's always moving, just always moving. Now this color is called Creole Croaker, which looks like a lot of the small minnows that are out there now. But we throw Gold Rush a lot, we throw uh, uh, Pearl Blue Glimmer a lot, but this color just happened to be the color, well, that I felt was the best color for the light conditions that we had. But I'm telling you, she had a blast being able to finally fearlessly throw into those edges and not get hung up. Because most of us get a really conservative and we're throwing three feet short, two feet short, because we're afraid to reach all the way in there. And the only way, you could see me doing it with my bait caster, the only way, because I was throwing a Captain Mike's uh, Aqua Dream Spoon, is to pitch it and to throw it deep into those dark spaces in there. It's the only way you're gonna catch fish on these summer high tides. Okay, if this type of info, these kind of hacks and tips are helping put more fish uh, in your boat, well, give us a thumbs up, like us, subscribe to us, hit the notification bell, and we wanna see you here every week. We really do. I want a, you in my inshore virtual classroom every week. So uh, that being said, let's get on to another video. I've got one more I got to finish up real quick and you keep following along and I can guarantee you, you'll be well on your way to catching more fish.